Hey everybody, John Henderson here, the Beer Ramble, back again outside on this lovely, beautiful day. Again, forgive what's going on my lips. Fever blister, but doesn't stop me from doing a beer review. Again, a rehash. Sierra Nevada Torpedo Extra IPA. I did this review, I think it was 2016, I believe, of this beer. I saw this for $1.99 at the service Murphy service station. 7.2% ABV. Here in Mobile by Sierra Nevada. So this is an American IPA style. Glass here. I just purchased to pay about 86 cents for this at a Al's 5 and 10 store. No, excuse me, I got this at the flea market. I should take that back. Rinsed it out, cleaned it out, and then boom, there it is. Of course, Sierra Nevada, based out in uh, Chico, California. Many consider them the godfather and also have a brewery in Mills River, North Carolina. The godfather or the one of the founding fathers of the craft beer movement. Of course, their infamous beer is the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Not an IPA, but has some of those same characteristics, same flavors, but it's not as hot. This is definitely hot. 7.2%. So there's a nice little color here, as you can see. Definitely smells good. Definitely get some of those mosaic hops in this. Um, I know someone has said, what's the difference between New England style IPAs and West Coast IPAs? I think during one of those discussions, as someone has said, maybe it's just the, uh, the added barley, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, that, uh, or maybe the style of hops that they pick up for some of these brewers on the West Coast. Maybe the water. The, the differences could be in the water. I don't know. But there was some discussion they were having about the difference between West Coast style IPAs and West Coast style IPAs. So it was a fascinating discussion, to say the least. So if you're in the searches I'm getting at right now, they're sort of a very pine scent, but seems that these hops are very outright really strong cascade mosaic hops but the search was really giving more of that scent to it um, again I reviewed this back in 2016 of this beer so down hatch sixteen ounce can or, or pint can, it's not bad. I'm definitely give them some of those flavors when I'm going down with it. I get more orange juice. It is herbal a little bit. But I think more of the, uh, the citrus is, is in this brew. Um, This is it's good. It's good. Um, it does get that pine note. I'm, I'm feeling. I'm tasting to this. Um, you know, uh, the, the the citrus and the pine flavor balancing out. And then I'm looking at the can right now. It says ale. On the can, if you can see it right here, it says ale. If y'all could read that there, yeah, ale right there is ale. So um, now, would this be considered a double IPA? I don't know. Would this be considered a standard American? Maybe. Um, But I, I would lean, these are the sort of IPAs I lean towards. Now, we have the sessions that are 4.5 or less. These are a little more bolder, a little more stronger. And I kind of lean to drinking these more 
often uh, with a nice, you know, pasta dinner. Um, you know, ses sessions could go, go pair with anything nowadays, um, but this is uh, when I had it the first time. I, I thought it was excellent. I still think it's excellent too. Uh, uh, I think the brewery, if I recall, began making their way this part of the country here, this part of the west, east of the Mississippi, I would say in the mid-90s. And we began getting a lot of this stuff. Again, the Pale Ale is their flagship beer. Um, they have an IPA. They have the Celebration. Uh, a few other, but the Pale Ale is their, is their bread and butter. So... Um, at times, if I can get this reasonably at a reasonable price uh, for, for, for this 16 ounce can for $1.99, that, that's a good price. Uh, other places, I'm sure, be a lot more for, for a four pack of this. I'm sure about you, what, maybe, I'm talking about what, five bucks, maybe close to six bucks for a four pack of this. And I know the six pack of these, which they don't sell them in six packs, I don't think, but if they did, it would be around seven nine seven seven nine nine eight nine nine, which is pretty good compared to the other styles of this that are out now, where you're paying maybe nine, ten, maybe eleven bucks, and that's not in my price range. Now, if I find it for a single, then yeah, I'll get it. Um, It's, it's, it's flavored just right, not too sweet, but sweet enough. The natural flavors of the of the citrus, more, I would say, orange or tangerine flavor than this, than the lemon or grapefruit flavor that I, I'm get, that I get. Some would say maybe the ha it has some of that grapefruit flavors, but um, yeah, so whole cone American hop. So this is... Uh, this is really good. When I had it the first time, I thought, yeah. And I was, uh, uh, yeah, okay, I mentioned Sarah Nevada. I mentioned Anchor, one of the other breweries. Of course, La Canitas, all based in California. But then these are the ones, and even some built in Colorado, some in Washington, that really kind of got the craft beer movement going, you know, experimenting with different styles of beer. You know, IPAs, again, have been around forever. These are not new things. They've been around for quite some time, so... <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, quite good. Man, I'm going to dig Man, look at the foam on this man right there. Nice head on top. So, not going to go on and on. This is the first time. Very good. This is an A uh, IPA for me. Um, I mentioned about experimentation, um, which is which is good. From some of the newer breweries and some of the older breweries and some of the older breweries that would make styles like this but they realized they were not selling so they had to go back to what they were making before just to keep sales going but um i would say that it's good to explain but let's not overdo an experimentation with this style of beer or that flavor or this flavor let's kind of keep it this you know, then we're going a little bit you know extreme with these experimentation or trying to create these different styles so, um, in a nutshell, that's it for me. I think this is a very good beer, very enjoyable. Um, as I had for the first time, um, I'm digging certain about it, so I'm not going to go over my time. This will be an A plus for me with a torpedo extra IPA. That'd be a 9.4 score. Poor Torpedo. I'm trying to spare the beer around to Keep on watching those. Cheers. Thank you. Torpedo, 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 Torpedo. Torpedo.